Uh, rolling again. Hang him up. Did you go to seven oh five? This guy. <laughs> the worst person that could ever be behind a camera. <laughs> Jesus. This is gonna take so long and be so difficult. Why don't you open up? Show us what this is because uh, I'm an influencer now. Don't cut your finger. That's on and off, man. Oof. This is the uh, unboxing the machete, of this camera. This is the part they like ASMR. Is that the like sound stuff? Up to the mic. What is this? That's a good wrapper, right there. That's not the mic, though. Close and off. You cut yourself. Yeah, so we got this camera to shoot stuff. Close. I got a pumpkin and a crystal. Oh, yeah, how'd you get your crystal? Tell me about uh, it. My girlfriend went to the desert. His girlfriend? And went to a sound bath. Mm. And came home with a crystal. Tiger something crystal. Tiger quartz. Can you, Tiger can you quartz. You so she gave me a crystal and a pumpkin, and I got her a machete and a flashlight. She doesn't know yet, <laughs> but she's probably doing the graphics on this video, so surprise. <laughs> This is tied all together. I got this camera today. Uh, I actually opened it a second ago, but uh, I got it at Max Digital down in Orange County, and Matt Stone is the uh, fine gentleman. It'd be like a cool Max Stone, Max. Jesus. So uh, he used to ride bikes, as did I, and then it reminded me of uh, like when you'd first get a new bike. And when you could do the whole bike from scratch, so it's entirely brand new, you're not using any of the old wheels, tires, everything's new. Uh, and it was like kind of special, it's a pretty cool thing. So I kind of decided to do that with this camera. Although, I might buy some new lenses, I will definitely keep the old lenses, but basically everything else about this camera is different in some way. And he's in jail. And oh, he's dead and in jail? No, but he's not, but he is pretty much. like. He's so excited. now the deal is with this camera, since it needs different batteries, different memory cards, essentially a different lens mount, um, a different monitor, different handles, basically everything you need to build is kind of from scratch, and half those parts don't even exist right now, or, or sold out, like all the batteries. So then you gotta figure out ways to rig solutions that work, so that's what this is. We're gonna open this and potentially build a no, cinema camera. There is a camera in the box, but let's first let's talk about the box. It has a nice texture to it. It's kind of reflective. It's very high end. It's got a cool ass it's, logo. It's got a cool uh, logo. Oh, all, the case all, case. all in all, I kind of like the it. Skull, it's yeah. very we high end feeling. Oh, there's the skull. That's not talking about. That's pretty cool. That's sick. That's like red stuff, Komodo stuff. So we open it, and uh, oh, there's like a pretty tech drawing. Ooh, look that's at that. Amazing. Look at this. Oh, that's pretty good, man. Pop it out. It's like just the camera, <laughs> and it it's out. telling you where to Pop put the out. memory card in. That's smart. Oops. Congratulations, registered Komodo. I can't show you that. These unboxing videos are really good. Oh, Guess what? That's it. Oh, you can't see it. Looks like you oh, we get a sticker, I yeah. assume. Lose. We got, ooh, Canon RF mount. RF to EF adapter, no ring, no NDs. All right, gotta get a new one of those for sure. We have a little Canon warranty card. Yeah, I've never actually filled one of these out. This is a Stinger, and this is what we in the industry call power supply. Look at that. Look at this fancy, this is the fanciest power supply I've ever seen. Feel it, go ahead. Say I'm lying. Have you seen a cooler power supply than that? That's ridiculous. Like, yeah. And then Thank we got you. the camera. I don't like this box. It actually feels kind of sturdy. This is like a ammo box. Man. Throw the box yeah, in. Yeah, man. Throw the box oh, in. that's probably Throw what they're the going in. for. See if you can catch it. Throw yeah, the it's like in. an ammo Throw box. Throw the box in. Yeah. Catch, see if you can catch it. Stop sure, yelling. Sure. Got the sensor. Ooh. Oh, I don't think the autofocus is on that. Like there are a few cameras that are somewhat similar to this, but none quite as good as this. It is made pretty well. You got to that. Not very waterproof. There's a big fan right here. Yeah, yeah but There's it's pretty water. strong. Cool it's made out of metal, like solid. Could you metal. drop it? You could. I wouldn't want to. No. But you could. It'll definitely get dropped at some Can point. Can you pull it off? <laughs> it's got an SDI out. SDI out? Video. Monitor. SDI mean for us. Not oh yeah, you know, I used to know what SDI meant. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah. 
I can like make some acronym up that you guys would believe, but it is a high-end uh, video cable. Less delay than the HDMI and a better connector. What does HDMI stand for? Again, I don't know. HDMI. High High definition definition media I word. Outlet. Interceptor. Yeah, I don't care. Who cares? (laughs) Something you don't really want to use. But now, looking at it, I can tell you that I have to buy a bunch of stuff. Um, It comes with everything you expect it would come with, but you have to build this into a real camera now. Or I guess I do. Uh, M4 holes on the side are interesting. What's quarter 20s on the top is cool. What is the M4? M4 is a slightly smaller uh, hole than a quarter 20. I don't really know what uses it much other than other reds. A quarter 20 is an industry standard, so like I could just connect stuff to this. M4 is a little different, so you have to figure it out. I don't know. You just gotta. Only mean? certain specific things will fit that, where like a lot of different things will fit the top. But yeah, so I need to get a monitor for it. Although I have used it and this monitor does work and you can do it off an iPad. That's half the reason I got it. But you definitely want a monitor, probably some sort of handle. Now that I realize I don't have one here. So maybe two handles. You got the RF adapter, batteries that I have to figure out. There's something in here. Oh, I'm going to be very under, underwhelmed because I don't think it's anything cool, too cool. Oh, adapters for the power supply. Yeah, so it shoots 6K 40 frames, but if it shot 6K 48 frames, it might be the perfect camera because then it would be perfect for music videos. What type of music videos? Any kind of music video. Give me some examples. That shot in 48, what have I seen lately? Literally almost every music video. WAP probably. At least parts of WAP probably were. Because it just adds a surreal element. I couldn't tell you for a fact. I'd have to like really watch it again and like but you can tell try to pay it. attention. And even then, it, so it's like you would shoot at 48 and then you would double it. You would double time shoot everything in 48 frames and the performance would go twice as fast. And then you bring it back down to regular speed so it does line up, but it doesn't line up perfectly and it makes it feel more dreamy. Could you shoot a pilot with this? A pilot? Tell me if you could shoot a series. You could shoot anything on it, yeah. Everything but high slow motion, probably. Or slow slow motion, whatever. High frame rate. It just has more stops of uh, dynamic range. So it has like 15 stops of DR. And you're gonna get more range. I don't know, that's it. You get more colors, you you get more light, you get more light to dark, you get, I mean, the overall image just looks better. The sky's not blown out, it's actually blue. Um, Or gray, currently. I guess the initial shipment of Stormtroopers came out a couple weeks ago. I got a chance to use like a a beta, well, this is a beta, but I got a chance to use a pre-production one, uh, which I guess this is too. I guess I got a chance to use a very similar camera to this. And uh, then I was like, I like it, I want one. But then you couldn't get it. But then if you talk to enough people enough times and bother them, then uh, sometimes you could get stuff. Yeah, I was very fortunate to get it, especially right now. The production models, I think, hopefully would be here by the end of the year. Because then I can get a black one too. I like the white one. The white one does look cooler. Mm. in some regard but it'd be nice to have like a white and a black one the first thing I'm going to shoot with this I don't even I don't know uh, we might put some cine glass on it uh, which weighs more and is three times the size of the camera some Cook S4s so that might be the first thing we do with it how much I use it on that shoot or not I don't exactly you know. can literally post I'm using a Monstro on that mm. so that's, that's like the same this thing big uh, we'll use it at a, a virtual drive-in rave thing, a music festival thing that's coming up. Uh, then we'll use it in the actual studio for some music festival stuff. Honestly, at the drive-in, I haven't thought about it because I just found out about the shoot today. Uh, oh. But sometimes we'll do virtual music festivals and whatnot, and those are pretty cool. But uh, we like, I like to rig the cameras up overhead. And so this will be perfect for that because I don't actually have to change anything. Or if I do, I can do it on an iPad. So I can plug this thing in and set it up once and then run it for the weekend uh, without ever having to like climb a ladder or go up there. Oh, uh, if I use this for like golf cart confessions. Um, yeah, I guess I could. It'd be pretty easy. 
It, I just have to figure out how to rig it, but yeah, it would actually look really good, and it has a mic in, so it would work for that. It wouldn't be my first thought with it, but it would totally do it. Right. I didn't ever really think about it that way, but it's pretty simple. Anything you're mounting the camera, whether it's on a gimbal, on a steady cam, on a truss, on clamp, on a car, or anywhere I couldn't get to it so that I could operate it from the iPad, basically anything where you're not holding this camera, this camera is gonna make your life way easier. And then if you're holding it, it's just smaller and lighter. But yeah, I guess that's what I like. I like putting cameras places, so. You have an iPhone, you have a new Galaxy. What's the difference? <laughs> this thing doesn't make phone calls or Google. Um, it can start a Wi-Fi network. It can or can't? It can. Technically, you could get this thing to be like an iPod. You could put songs on a card and then make it play it like a movie, and it would play music. Why would Dre Beats buy that camera? Dre Beats buy this camera? Because he already has the fucking speakers and the headphones. He's got that shit sorted. So tell me why he buy that camera. I don't know. Who, who's Dre Beats? Like <laughs> the Dre. actual guy? It's Dre Beats. Dr. Dre? Because why would a billionaire buy a camera? But why would he buy that? Why would that's the camera you need? Honestly, something. I could see Dr. Dre buying it. I don't know. I shot a commercial with this. Um, Did you shoot sport in that? Possibly the first broadcast commercial with it. I don't what know. About live, that's what the director thinks. Sports. You can shoot. I shot, yeah, I shot action sports. I shot my buddy Bo flat landing as a camera test. Oh, I could like flash the clips from that, but I probably won't because I'm lazy. Well, it has a global shutter, so it's probably the best with motion than any camera ever. Uh, or, I mean, other cameras with global shutter, but in some form, I don't know. It doesn't do a slow motion, but it'll capture every image cleaner. I don't know. I don't, I don't have it yet. I don't know everything I'm going to shoot on it yet. So it would be good to put on a gimbal because it's small and light. It would be good to handhold because it's small and light. Um, it's modular, so it can kind of fit anywhere. It's kind of a crash cam. It would be good to mount on stuff. Uh, do you have any mounts for it? I currently don't really own any specific mounts for it, no. But that's the thing. Basically, this thing's gonna be kind of like jerry-rigged for a while until the products come out to do it. Because they need a proper cage or at least a side handle. It's like GDU or the tilted cage, but I don't think either of those exist yet. There's a top plate to attach a monitor a little smoother, but then it takes up the quarter 20, so you gotta decide. You wanna put a handle on, you not want a handle, what kind of handle, what handles fit, what handles don't. And then I would need a monitor and some cards, some CFast 2.0 cards, and then I'd probably use ideally the SWIT batteries if they work and DC out so there's not an extra battery. And then this whole thing probably weighs like five pounds. Yeah. And it's shooting like cinema quality, I don't know what you yeah. want to call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. 15 that. stops of DR. Uh, like, I don't know, you could shoot. A, actual TV show, an actual movie, an actual whatever, music video. I mean, you could shoot music videos on dang GoPros, but this will look a lot better. The $8,000 camera looks better than the $300 one. Well, this will be like a series where we'll uh, add pieces. So we'll add a follow focus, oh. figure out what lens is good, um, get a different adapter that has an ND filter in it probably. Uh, what else are we gonna do with this thing? I mean, it's just gonna grow. It's gonna, we'll add a monitor to it, different handles, a top handle versus side handles, or put it on a gimbal and have no handles. Batteries, what kind of batteries? If it's a V-mount plate, tapping out. If it's, I don't know. There's like a whole bunch of different options. Yeah, we'll build this thing into a, a bigger cinema commercial camera, adding different things here and there, and probably a bunch of different builds and use it a bunch of different ways. and. I don't know, it'd be kind of fun because it's basically starting from scratch, like with a bike. So, yeah, everything is going to kind of be brand new, a little experiment, and we'll just build it until it becomes a 6K cinematic beast. Back Sounds in. so dumb. No, you say check back in, come back, have a look. You want I'm excited to build this. Follow me on fans only. 